Welcome back everyone. Let's get to the third roll. Amazing find so far in the first two rolls. And now we're on the third roll of what I believe is all Wheaties. Let's take a look. So just to remind you, I've opened a couple of rolls of Wheaties so far from that uh, epic penny roll, weedy roll find at the bank. We're gonna move on now to, I guess we'll go with this one next. Well, I'm hoping that these are Wheaties as well. Let's, let's get into them. All right, let's get this guy opened up here. Fingers crossed that it's Wheaties. Let me take a look at the, ooh, let me show you. So we got a Wheatie on that end. That's a great sign. Let's check the other end. <laughs> Super excited so far. Oh, yeah. So, very good sign that the enders are Wheaties. I'm thinking that this is another all Wheatie roll. Let's push these out. Yep, that's a good sign. All right, let's take a look at them one by one, guys. First one up, heavily damaged. Looks like it's a 1935 plane. About a quarter of a billion minted, so, you know, still a great coin. The next one up. You may have already seen it. I had it laying there, but let's take a look. 51. 51S. I love that it's an S. There's been a lot of S mints in this uh, in these rolls, which is great. I don't get a lot of those when I do my normal coin roll hunting. Another 51S. Great patina on this one. And it's a 1944. Plain. This one's got a beautiful red look to it. I like the way that they come out when they have this little red tint to them. Good looking coin. Let's see what the uh, date on this one is. 1937 plain. Still great patina on it. Still got a little bit of luster. Very clear date. The uh, stamping is good. And the back is eh, average conditioned. Love that it's red though. Next one up is a 1934 plane. 1934 plane is about 219 million. So not a bad coin either. Next one up is a 1941 plane. Very common year, but that's only my second one of the 1941 years out of these three rolls, or two and a quarter rolls, I should say. Looks like another 1944 plane. Is that another 1926 plane? Yep, we got my, what is that, my fourth 1926 plane. Again, it sure be nice to be a 1926S with less than 5 million minted, but never turned down a 20s or a teens weedy ever. Next up, a 57D. Next coin. 1958D, last year of the Wheaties, very common uh, vintage. Nice 1937D, we're really scoring on these uh, 37Ds, only 50, only 50 million of the 1937Ds, and so we like that a lot. I believe it's my uh, third one of the D, of the Denver Mint for that year. Beautiful looking 47S, 99 million of those. So not, not the 50 million mark, but under the 100 million vintage mark. So pretty cool. Now this one's interesting. Could just be worn 
bad. Could have been in circulation a while to pick this up properly. But the back is pretty well worn, so it could be an older one. Nope, just the nice worn 1951 D. Next up we have, is that a 25 S? No way, let's take a look at this. A 19, it's not a 26 S like we've been looking for, but a 1925 S is still 26 million mints. Let's take a look. No, it's a 1925D. And actually, the 1925D is even a better coin with only 22.5 million mints on it whatsoever. So I believe I have a couple of 1925s, but I don't think I have a 1925D. You know what, I did get a 1925D, so it's my second 1925D. Clean D mint stamp, so this one would not be the error that I believe the other one was. Beautiful coin, beautiful coin. We got a whole bunch more in here to go still. Let's get into them. We'll grab the first one here, take a look. Looks like a 1930S. Let's take a closer look at this guy. Well, it's definitely a 1930. I'm gonna have to zoom in closer. Let me take a look. Might just be some grime on it. Hard to tell, I can't really see the mint mark properly. And guys, I can't tell. It looks like the mint mark has been somewhat damaged which kind of stinks because I, it could be a plane with just a pock mark there. And if it is a plane, there's 157 million. If it's a D, there's 40 million. And if it's a S, it's 24 million. I'm going to take one more look, see if I can figure this out. Well, because there is some pocking all over it, I'm going to assume that this is actually just a 1930 plane. But I'm very happy to have that because it's only my second 1930 the last one was an s so happy with that i have the 30s i think that's just the 30 plane oh oldest one yet 1917 plane now there is 196 plus million minted that year but that's a good coin. It's probably better than my other 1917 I have in my set. Let me take a look at it close up. Yeah. Yep, yeah, that's great. A 1917. We'll take it. Beautiful. Wow. I'm so excited. What else we got here? Looks like a 1935D. I'm going to take a closer look. Yep. Nope. It's a 35S. 1935S. That's why you look with the loop, guys. Make sure only 38.7 million of these. That is a great find. I'm happy to have that. That's actually my first 38S in these rolls. Nineteen fifty six plane. Nineteen fifty three S looks like another fifty three, but this one's a D. Looks like a fifty one D. Fifty seven D. Looks like we got into a little group of 50s now. Oh, spoke too soon. 1926 plane again. Wow. We've got five 1926s from that year now. 
Okay, it'd be nice to get a key mint. Oh, this one looks pretty rough. Let's take a look at this one. I'll show you the back first. Pretty rough. Let's take a look at the date. Yep, I knew that was an old one by the back. Looks like another 1917 plane. And again, let me just take a look to make sure I'm not missing a mint mark. Nope, but I got two 17s in this roll. And this one also looks fairly old. Let's take a look to see if I'm right on this one. Old enough, 37 plane, happy with that. Got quite a few from the 37 year. Looks like a 1950D. Next one up. Looks like a 44 plane. We always check those with the magnet. It's not a steel that's in disguise. Put that right there with the 44s. Looks like we got another 1944 plane as well. Again, nothing special about that one. Let me slide this over here. Next one up is a 1956. We've also got ourselves, ooh, that's a good looking 1940 plane. Unfortunately, over 586 million minted that year, but it is my first 1940 of the group. So that's great. I'll take it. 51D. Nice patina on the back of this one. See what the front looks like. Great patina as well, and it's another 1926. And you know what? I like the patina, but it's a good looking coin. Very clear mint stamp. Very good in God we trust. It's a little worn down, of course. What do you expect for a circulated 26? Let me just double check and see if there's not a hidden S in there somewhere. So I took a few extra seconds because if you look at it, it looks like the mint mark may have been scraped away, but under further examination, that's just part of the patina. There is no mint mark there. It's clearly a uh, Philadelphia Mint 1926. Next one up, a 48S. 81.7 million of these minted. Good looking coin. 58D, last year of the Wheaties, like I said. Still got a number of coins in this roll, so <laughs> still excited to keep going through them. 1955 plane. Next up, a 1951D. Next coin, a plain 1925, 140 million just about, just under. Looks like a 46 D or S, let me look close, 46 D. Well, I'll go ahead and apologize, guys. I ran out of camera space. I didn't realize that I was towards the end of my capacity, so I missed the last few coins. Uh, just to round you up, there was a few 37s and another 25. But other than that, that's what we got. So after the first three rolls, we've got six coins in the teens, we've 16 got. in the 20s now, and we've got a handful of these in the 30s, 40s, 50. We are now finished officially with three rolls and the next video I'll open up the next coin roll Stay tuned